So just Magic yeah. the Gathering. Those are the Plane Workers 2012. The kind of we're doing kind of like a live, well not live, multiplayer review as we're gonna talk about it as we play it. So you know. Okay. We'll start off with the graphics like we usually do, and this game has pretty simple graphics, nothing spectacular. The cars look nice, and they're very detailed. But then you're not playing this game for the graphics. You're playing this game for, for the for the gameplay, basically. So it's not that big of a deal to not have amazing graphics, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, same here. I mean, uh, it's a trading card game, so you don't really need uh, flashy graphics. I think the uh, the cards are really detailed, and uh, you know, what, what else do you really need? And I like the same case about the audio as well, is that it's just the same kind of music and sound effects in the game. You don't really need that, but I, I do appreciate that music is there in the first place. Because if without music, the game would kind of feel kind of like almost dead. So having some kind of music adds a little atmosphere, and that's nice to have. True, the music and sound effects are good. Um, it, it is a good option to you know be able to turn it down, like we turned the music and sound effects almost all the way down. Uh, for this review and you know while I appreciate that the music is still there in the background it's really not getting in the way so uh, I think they did a good job with that. Now onto the story. For games like this I don't think a story matters at all. You know you're just playing it just for the card battle. However one thing they do at the beginning of the game is this one big epic cutscene where you think oh you know this guy has to go on an amazing journey and they kind of make a big deal out of the story. But it's just that one cutscene, after that cutscene at the beginning of the game, there's no story progression at all. You wonder, you know, why is that even there for? Yeah, I, I don't think... Uh, it's kind of deceiving, in my opinion, for, for, the, for the gamer who wants a story, but they don't get really, really get one. Yeah, it's... it's I don't really... I wasn't really expecting a story here. I was just expecting a, a digital version of, you know, of, of the physical trading card game. Uh, which is fine, you know, I don't really need a story, but... You know, the thing is, if... if that's what you're looking for if a story is what you're uh, what you're after you know you're looking in the wrong place because there isn't one here but I mean story and sound and visuals aside the main thing here is the gameplay that's why you're playing this and I'll start off by saying that this is definitely a complex game it's deep and you know that's fine because this is a strategy game that's what I would consider it you want to use the right strategies to, to beat your opponent however this game is not if you're a beginner to magic, this game, they're not going to make it easy to play. Like The tutorial they have here is very basic. And if you don't know anything about magic offhand, you're going to go in here and you're going to, um, uh, you know, be, compl be completely lost. You might win the first few fights if you're lucky, but after that, you're going to have no idea what you're doing at all. Uh, right, that was my problem with the game as well. It's just, uh, it's not very user-friendly. Well, it is user-friendly if you know what you're doing, but as, as far as a beginner, uh, it's not very user-friendly. So I've been, uh, you know, I've, I've been trying to progress through the story, but it's just, I get stuck because, uh, you know, the opponents are, are too difficult for me. So I, I keep retrying, you know, retrying the duels, redoing the duels with different decks and trying to find out what works with what. Um, you know, there is some instructions, there is a tutorial in the game, but it doesn't really hold your hand. It doesn't, I don't think it does a good job of teaching you the game uh, at this point, because this game's been around for a while. And at this point, it's its really gotten so complex. There's so many cars and so, so many different effects and rules uh, that it's hard to fit it all in a tutorial. So it sort of, you know, tells you to, you know, it tells you the basics and then it sort of just tells you to go and do it. You know what I mean? I agree with that. It tells you the basics, but there's more to this game than just the basics. There's a lot of different strategies you can use. A lot of the cards have different effects. And they don't mention that. I don't think they mention it at all in the game. Like, they should have mentioned that tutorial. They should have had new players in mind. But it seems like they had the experienced Magic players in mind. Like, if you're if you're like a new player to Magic and you learn how to play Magic, you're going to play this game, jump right into it, and you're going to be completely lost. Like, you know, I have no idea what's going on. I'm getting, you know, I'm getting beaten so easily. And in my case, I was getting beat so easily at first. I actually went online to you know look for FAQs, yeah, walkthroughs, yeah. and ask people on forums like, "What am I doing?" And that was helpful. But this is just basic stuff. Right. That should have been 
you know, right in the beginning of the game. But I mean, not beginning. Of the game, it should have been a tutorial somewhere, but it wasn't. Right, and I had right. never played Magic before until this. Well, it, it's sort of you know, in the beginning, it is as as long as you know the basics. I don't really know if there's anything you can do. I mean, you you have the cards you dealt with, and you sort of have to make them work. And if your opponent has better cards, then there's really nothing you can do. Right, that's one problem with this game. Is there's a huge luck factor here. Is that, like Peter said, you're playing other cards that you, that you dealt with. Yeah. And if you get a, you know, cards that are like all land cards or all useless cards, right. then you might have nothing to do for a turn or a few turns. And you know, like, you know, it's it's that kind of takes away some of the strategy and skill involved. I mean, I don't I don't know, but I mean, it is a lot of luck. I agree with you there, but I think most of this game is about building your deck. I mean, if you know all the cards in your deck, uh, you won't have as much trouble you know if you're really into this game and you you take time to build your deck uh it takes some of the luck out of the equation because you sort of know which cards you have in your hand you you know which cards are left in your deck and you know which cards you're going to need in order to win the duel uh but for a new player such as myself you know they have six or seven different decks you can play with and uh, you know, I I don't really want to go through each deck and, you know, learn all the cards and learn all, all the different uh, effects that each card has. Uh, so it's, it's, I don't know, it's just sort of difficult. And with that in mind, there's different decks. There's, there's yellow, blue, green, white, and black, and red. And I'm sorry, not in yellow, it's white instead of yellow, but it's white, blue, green, Black and white, and no idea of those decks too. That they all different ways to attack, different kind of properties, well, I think, different kind I think of creatures, it's, uh, different and, elements. I mean, the red is fire, and then yeah. yeah, different elements. But I mean, like, like the deck I had now is a black deck, yeah. and basically, if I attack you, I also suck your life as well, because it's I think it's called a vampire deck uh, okay, for whatever reason. Well, but, see, that's you know, that's what they don't tell you that in the tutorial. You know what I mean? Like, it seems like that's a cool thing to have. You know, like life leech or whatever it is, it's called, but. Um, and I'm sure the fire deck isn't the best deck to uh, to counter your deck. You know what I mean? It seems to almost forget the new gamer because, like you said before, you build your deck and you really build your deck, then you'll actually and get enjoyment out of the game. Like you know, I built this, I built this deck yeah. over here, and I know how I want to play, but they don't really teach you how to play yeah. the deck. Yeah. You have to kind of figure it out yourself by doing your own independent yeah, research. Yeah, you know what? And you know, I kind of like, jumped into this. I haven't really used the fire deck or the red deck at all, uh, so I kind of just chose it, and now I'm starting to see that there's really no creatures in this so I can defend myself with, they just have, uh, I guess they're, you know, magic cards or whatever these are, um, but, you know, I can I, I can deal direct damage to you and your, and your creatures, but there's nothing here that I can actually put out uh, on the field so I can defend myself with. I mean, like um, uh, like we said before, if if you're new to Magic: The Gathering, and you come and jump into this game, you're gonna be, I think you're gonna be lost, you know, overwhelmed in my opinion, because you're not gonna understand the, the complexities of building right. a deck, which deck to use, which deck is appropriate, and you can build your own deck definitely. You can um, uh, remove cards from your deck and pick like which cards appear, you know, most chances of that card appearing. So when actually are playing for really like, all right, this card's gonna appear, high chance of card appearing, you know, what deck which deck to counter with, but. They don't explain it to you in this game. You have to kind of do your own research online, and if you know that might scare you away, like you just like plainly, like turn you off. Like I right, forget, I don't even want to bother right, going through right, that process right. I, doing my own research I, for a video game. I think game. this game is as good as the investment you put in it. I mean, the more you time you put in it, the more research you do about the the Magic: The Gathering game. Uh, I think the more enjoyment you'll get out of this. If you're new to this, if you're new to Magic: The Gathering, and if you want to get, I, I'd say if you want to get into it find a friend who plays it. They'll be able to explain it more to you, and uh, I think a real human being will do a, a way better job of explaining things as you play, whereas, you know, you and I had to sort of go rummage around the internet on different, like, FAQs and things like that uh, in order to, right. to sort of... Right, yeah, right, like, stuff. That's unnecessary, in my opinion. I think uh, the game should have a deep enough tutorial where it could sort of, you know, hold your hand long enough so so you know what you're doing. You know, I've never seen this card, these cards before. I don't know what any of them do, and I sort of have to take the time to read 
the description of each and every card just so I know what it does. You know, it's not like chess where each piece, you know, there's a set number of pieces and each piece has uh, moves in a certain way. Over here, there's thousands and thousands of cards and each card has a purpose. Each card has, you know, pluses and minuses, strengths and weaknesses. And it really takes a long time to get to know them. Alright, let's see. Right, I'll give you an example here. This card, is, it says, it says bloodthirst. And bloodthirst means all this and it's pretty complex. I don't mind the game being complex, but they should really help the new player out. Kind of tell you, okay, you know, new player, here's how you, here's how you go about doing it. But they completely abandon the new player, it seems. And, you know, that makes it not as much fun if yeah. you're new to it. You confuse yeah, when so you I play. Just played a card, uh, However, I just played like... a card that made you discard your hand and then draw seven new cards, which helped me a lot because I had no yeah, cards thing, in my hand. Which, which is like... <laughs> Yeah, there's so many cards like that. Let's see. Yeah, but now, you know, I have seven new cards in my hand, and I have to go through each and every one of them and sort of learn what they do. And this is only just for one type of deck, right, and there's so many decks right. in this game. Well, like I said, there's thousands and thousands of cards, and, you know, some of them might be similar, but, you know, the difference might be that, they, you know, might one might have a, a special effect, and the other might not have a special effect, and... It's sort of just, you know, little minute differences that, uh, you know, might help you win, but only if you do the research. Because if, you know, I play this fiery hellhound that I'm looking at right now, you know, without, you know, looking at the information about it, this card might have some sort of status that might actually hurt me. So, it's, uh, you know, it's 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 a complex game. I don't, you know, I'm not gonna take points off for the game being complex, but I am gonna take points off for uh, for the game not giving me the tools or or the skills I need to, you know, play it effectively. Yeah, I agree with that kind of sentiment. Um, I I think it's a complex game. It's a good game, but because it doesn't really help the new player out, it loses points for that. And because of that, I gave it a three out of five stars. Where I think it's a good game, but the new player is abandoned. That's that's I don't think that's good to have in my opinion. I agree with that score. So three out of yeah, five stars I, for I me. I give it a three out of five as well, uh, just for the fact that it's so uh, unfriendly to new gamers. Um, but you know, if if you're already into Magic: The Gathering, if you know what you're doing, I think this would be a great tool because you can play with other people online, and I think that's what this game is all about—just playing with other people. You know what I mean? Because you can't. You know, it's no fun playing by yourself, so this game lets you play random people online or play your friends online, whoever, uh, you know, whoever you want. So yeah, 3 out of 5 is, uh, I think, a good score for this. Yeah, I mean, if you play Magic the Gathering, you play Magic the Gathering before, pick it up. It follows the latest rule set as far as I know. So if you if you experience with the series, I would say go ahead, you know, buy it. it it's worth playing because it's... Everything in Magic the Gathering is yeah. here. Alright, why don't you go ahead and put me in misery. I'll yeah. finish you off. Alright. It's like... Five cards. <laughs> Alright, attack. Yeah, it tells me to block, but I can't. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright, so you have three oh, out of five stars. Defeat. Good game, but new player, yeah. forget yeah. about it. 